Hi, welcome to JCon Gaming. I'm Adam, and today we're gonna do a unboxing video for the Pathfinder Beginners Box. I've been throwing around the idea of do you know starting a website and YouTube channel for this for a while, about a year now, and I started opening this and decided you know now's the time to start. So I set things up and let's get going. All right. Now as I said, I did. No, I did. I took off the plastic. I've actually opened it, um, but I just sort of got to it. You know, you got it on the the back. You know, it has the description. Um, what's in there? Picture. It's a nice artwork on the front, and it's a nice box. I'll reuse the box. Keep storage, doesn't it? Like I said, I didn't get too far. Um, I got things in the plastic. Uh, we'll get to those. Um, they give you a sheet here to show you, you know, what to do. You know, they have the, if you're on your own and they have a little adventure you can go through, so if you're learning the game and don't have, you know, experienced role players to learn with, I guess that'd be a, a good thing to start with. And then they go through, you know, game master, or player, and character, or creating a character, um, or using one of their pre-made ones. first book we got in here is the Hero's Handbook, and it's what starts with that single person adventure, and it sort of explains some of the, some of the stuff in there as you go. Um, then, you know, you get to getting started, basic rules, creating a character. Uh, they just have Dwarf, Elf, Human, and then they have Cleric, Fighter, Rogue and Wizard for classes. Um, they have the races all there, and then they have classes on spreads over to you know the take up double sides, the clerics. Uh, you know, what six pages and it goes up to fifth level. And then for the other classes, they do some are smaller in page count. Then they go finishing a character, skills. Um, it's got some nice artwork. It's really illustrated. Equipment. It's nice. They have pictures, it seems, for all of the equipment. They have little images to give you an idea. In case you don't know what chalk looks like. Now you do. It's basic combat stuff. Um, I know I know there's some rules that are left out, like some of the uh, combat maneuvers, I think, and some things like that are left out of this basic thing, in this basic box. But then they have on their website rules, uh, or like a conversion guide to, you know, for when you switch from this to the full game. They have four pre-made characters. I think there's a fifth one on their website as well, which is in here. I like this. They have for, you know, for starting out, that's really cool. You got the main of what is a front sheet. Then you have rules along with, you know, your equipment and stuff, feats, uh, descriptions, and all that. All those rules are written along the side. Description of the character. You got, uh, nice descriptions. You know, play this. Be a fighter if you want to be the toughest, strongest guy, biggest weapons, best armor charge into battle, whereas you'd be a wizard if you like blasting enemies with fire, throwing weapons with telekinesis, you know, knowing about magic, ancient lore, and using scrolls, you know, so it sort of gives them an idea of what to play, um, a bit human heavy, one elf, three humans, no dwarfs, in the pre-mades, but then they have, uh, some character sheets that sort of follow that same thing and still have you know, here's what the dice are. Here's what, you know. Then you get your Game Master's Guide. Which has the this map in here. And it starts with, you know, an adventure to run. Um, I've tried running one of their adventures before and... You know, it was really well written, but that's just not my style. I'm much of a... I create a world, and I'd much rather create a world than use one that's created for me. 
but uh, but they're usually good materials. I'm sure I'll find some stuff um, to use for other things. I'm gonna go through some basics of how to build a, your own adventure, how to continue their the the from the plot that they gave you, and you know different different just things for building a dungeon, even different types you know the types of walls, doors, floors, you know traps different different terrain types and the features of those some basic magic items oh, and and like here for wands they have what classes can use them so you'd know, you know that can be used by the wizard alarm for the wizard bless for the cleric cause fear for either visually I use images to keep it organized. And then I get to the monster section, which I believe some of these are a bit boiled down version of the monsters. But they're all this format, which is a great starter format. Um, and you got your goblin here. You got the image, goblin boss, image, stats, abilities. random encounters, and they give you Sandpoint, the city to, you know, which is, you know, they, and then they give you a map, you know, Sandpoint's there, that was the dungeon that was the introductory adventure to help you continue the adventure after what they gave you. Conditions, and then sort of where to go from there, bestiary, core book, and then their inner sea world guide if you want to continue in their own world. Then we get to some of the stuff that um, I wasn't thinking too heavily of when I first got it, but it's totally changed my opinion. You can hear that creek open. That's a heavily laminated board here, and one side's just, you know, all blank. But, uh, we got the other side is that dungeon from the beginning. Which, uh, you know, to see the full map is in, it's, you know, the same one from your book here. And I like this. It's laminated. You can write on it, like, with your uh, dry erase, wet erase marker. Um, reuse it. Use the back to draw whatever you want. It's sort of a grassy texture, but that can be used for whatever you need it to. And it's nice. It, it, I mean, I'm used to, like, uh, one of the mats to roll out, but, that I mean, I'll probably get some of the other... Uh, they have, I know Paizo has some, uh, you know, map packs and map sets. And um, I'll probably start checking some of those out. I did not expect it to be this quality of uh, lamination, because that's... that's heavy. Then I also like these. These are cool. These are uh, Pathfinder pawns. They give you, um, you know, of the four classes that the box has and the three races, they give you a male and female of each. Um, they give you the basic characters, the pregens, and uh, the bad guy from the adventure, and they give you other guys from the set as well. But these are but these are uh thick. You can kinda see. And they're they're good art. They got I mean the art's from other things. So The art's from other things, so uh, you know, recognize a lot of it. But and they have these, and I'm thinking now after seeing these that I'm gonna probably check into some of their other 
pawn boxes, because, I mean, I've used miniatures, and a lot of times they use, like, bottle caps and that kind of thing. But these are pretty cool. You can sort of fit your character in there. It makes it stand up. Go on your mat. The character is on both sides. Then I told you I'll stick to these. I got some uh, dice in there. Red with white text. Not bad. Full set. What you need to play. Um, personally, I enjoy you know checks, chess X. But other than really the ability to choose my own colors from chess X, I mean these seem just fine. So there's a there's a nice amount of stuff in here, and um, I mean personally the reason I got it was sort of as the, to have something to introduce new players to the game with. Um, the default book, the core rule book, is 575 pages. That's a heavy book. And for players, the book in here is 64 pages. That's not. Even with a Game Master, it's, not, it's a lot smaller than, you know, comparatively. So even if you were teaching someone who to run a game, it would be a good thing to start with. And also, it, it introduced me, you know, by half a sense, to some new new products that I didn't, I didn't know that I would like so much. The pawns and the mat are really good quality and I did not anticipate that. So, you know, if you're starting Pathfinder, you're starting role-playing games, it's a great one to start with. I love Pathfinder. It, they did a great, great work to carry on the legacy of 3rd edition. That's 3.5, whatever. And I love, how, I love what they've done with it. Um, it's a great one to start with. And this is a much easier, less stressful, less wordy way to start. As much as you don't have to read so much of this to play, it's still daunting to say, here's the game! So yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll put some, a link down somewhere you can buy it from. Check it out, or your local hobby store, of course. You gotta support those. Um, I'll bring you another video, hopefully soon. Have a good day.